The first stock we're going to look at, Paul, is GTN. The ticker symbol is GTN. This is Gray Television. It's an American publicly traded television broadcast company in Atlanta, founded in 1946. And they do gray communication systems. They own 145 TV stations across the U.S. Big company, Paul, over 100 years old. Uh, can you share your screen again one more time so we can get the uh, Everything Money website up and cook yes, it, baby? Yes, we can. Share right. screen, application window. I love you. Here we go. You. you ready? I don't. There we go. Give me a second, Paul. Let me get you in here real quick. Give me a second here. Here you are. Go ahead, my friend. Let's start right. with uh, what is the market cap? For GTN, 1.8 billion, and they made 400 million dollars last year. So their PE is 4.36. That's a check mark. Beautiful. With a profit margin of 17. percent Beautiful. Wow. So two check marks so far, Seth. And look at this. Last year, their free cash flow was 542, and their five-year average free cash flow was 276. So just right there, based on that. Yeah. Either way. Now, one thing I don't like about the company is. Their return on invested capital and their return on assets are very low. So they're not doing a good job of reinvesting their capital to make more wealth for the company. That's not necessarily good or bad. We prefer a higher number, but if it's low like this, you need to pay a much lower price to the company because as their cash flow, because they're paying a 0% dividend. So they're taking their cash and doing something else with it. So, so far, two checks, but a low return on assets and low return on invested capital. Okay, income statement. Yep, this is pillar number three is revenue growth over the past five years, Paul. 793 to 2.38 billion, that's check marks. Wow. That means tells me they've made a lot of acquisitions in the last five years. Cause I don't think it's very easy to, to you know, almost quadruple your revenue over a five year period in TV stations. And their uh, net income has gone from 62 million to 410, check mark there. Four straight check marks, Paul. Uh, I'm looking up the acquisitions now. Um, pillar number five. We'll see, is, them on the, we'll see them on the cash flow statement as well. But shares outstanding. Ah, here it is, seventy-one point eight to ninety-three million. So they've increased their shares outstanding by almost thirty percent. That's a lot. Maybe even more than that. Cash on hand, nine hundred eighteen million total current assets, current liabilities three forty-four. Check mark there. Plenty of cash on hand to pay their current bills. Cash flow, as we said before. Their average, I mean, look at these. So look at this. Look at their acquisitions in the last five years. 440 million, 400 million, 2.6 billion. So they've made a lot of acquisitions, as I said before. They've made yeah, a lot just, of acquisitions. Just last month, they acquired Quincy Media for a 925 million in cash. And that's going to give them an extra 110 TV stations. Uh, that's, a big, that's a big buy. Uh, Paul, tell me this before we get going, keep going on, on this. Other people are saying that... Um, I've been finding this too on multiple different websites. The dividend from Google to Yahoo to a lot of different websites, including the Eight Pillar website, the Everything Money website, the dividend is always different in some places. Like, what's going on with that? Do you know? So let's look. Sometimes people report dividends based on trailing versus last year versus upcoming. So what's the GTN? Was this GTN? Yeah, GTN. Yep, there's something wrong with our data then. Okay, there we go. There's a bug there. Well, wait a second. Did they not pay? They did not pay. Let me just look at their financial statements. Cash flow statement. Were there dividends? Yeah, there are dividends paid right here. Um, I'm sorry, guys. So that's a bug. That's a bug. That's a mistake right there. Yeah. So we have a dividend error in our software. But the, I, 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 for GTM. For, well, for GTM, but it's probably for other ones. It, it is, Paul. Yeah. There's a couple other ones I want to ask about. So okay. Folks, so that's I good. Would say, so even, uh, go ahead. Yeah, I would say, folks, just like just like your phone or your computer when it says it's going to install, uh, you know. An update, that's what our website is, is working through. There will be more problems come April 15th. And as more people use it, there will be problems as, as every software piece. And uh, we'll get them updated. Paul, you have a, a team of developers working on our site. And so, uh, pe Paul, people are asking, can I count on the Everything Money website for my financial data? And the answer is, of course, yes. Yes. And guess what, guys? There's always going to be mistakes. I look at wide charts. I pay hundreds of dollars a month for wide charts. And guess what? I have found tons of mistakes on white charts I've emailed them about. And they're like, oh, thank you very much. We'll get this to our development team. They'll change it. I have found mistakes on every financial website I've ever been on. It's just a reality of life. It's always a good reason to always double check and report things to us. But one other way to look at it is go to your dividends paid in the cash flow statement. But look at this, guys. The dividends paid is not consistent. They, they took many, many years off of paying dividends. 
Last year, they paid $52 million of their $542 million in free cash flow. So th that's the good news. They're only paying out less than 10% of their free cash flow has got a dividends. Um, $1.76 billion market cap, $542 million last year. That's 3.5 to 1 or so. Wow. So the question you have to ask yourself is, why is it so cheap? Paul someone, Why is it had so a, cheap? Paul, someone had a question. Ryan, ma did, make sure we didn't miss anything. Ryan says, did I just see $5 billion in total liabilities? Did we get that correct, Paul? Pillar number six yes, is $5 billion in total liability. $5 billion in total liabilities, not current liabilities. Why? Okay. What's the other one saying? That, that's it, Paul. I just want to make sure. If, if Ryan talks, you know, I listen. You know, he's my homie. So, um, okay. So, pillar number seven, reevaluate re one more time, Paul. Free cash flow. Why we're looking at it and why it's so important and, and how it's going for GTN Gray Television. Okay, so the free cash for the last five years was 276. But guys, as you saw, they made a lot of acquisitions. So this might, I mean, right now for the last year, they've generated, they're at three and a half to one on their free cash flow multiple. Over the last five years, they're at like seven to one. I mean, guys, this sounds like a really, really great idea to go look at this company in further detail. But one of the things you want to realize is where are TV stations grow, going as we spend more and more money on streaming? So the question becomes, what's their business model going forward? Why are they making so many acquisitions on TV stations? That's confusing to me because we're going to more and more streaming. We have to figure out how they're going to generate more and more cash flow as time goes on. This could be a prime example of a situation where people are over-dramatizing what's going to happen with TV stations. And that, that's why this might be a good deal. But you need to understand that going forward. But I definitely think this company is one with seven out of eight pillars to go forward and do more research on 1000%. I like this one. This was great. To go do more research on. Yeah, this is great television. Uh, Mo, Mo, Trader Mo is in the chats. Um, uh, maybe Mo can look up, look up, look this up and uh, address it uh, in the morning in, in, in the, um, in the bid nast nation there, the, the middle tier of our Patreon. If you guys are in love with this. Yeah, so um, Paul, it's not often you say you love one. Great television. No, no, I'm simply saying I, I love the idea of going further into this one to understand uh, is this an example of a situation where people are discounting a free cash flow so much that, that if it has 10 years of life left, it's still a positive free cash flow for 10 years. They do have a lot of debt. The $4.4 billion in, in long-term debt, you have to figure out what's, what's behind that. Is there real estate behind it they can sell off and pay that off in some way with? You have to understand those ideas because that's what makes for good value investing. Because remember, guys, most companies that are selling cheap are selling cheap for a reason. Most of them are bad stocks. But every so often, you're going to find a good value play. That is your job. Thanks so much for watching the video. We hope you were intrigued. If this style of investing speaks to you, click the link below to join our Patreon. As a patron, you get access to a wonderful community of like-minded investors where you can chat, connect, ask questions, and share ideas with badasses like you all over the world. The best part is you get the amazing Everything Money software. This is revolutionary unlike any YouTube page. Yep. You can track your investments, look at stocks, and quickly run our eight pillar analysis on any company you like. Yeah. The top tier patrons get direct access to Paul and Trader Mo. You'll see their daily trades, their updated portfolios, and every options contract they write on a daily basis. We provide Patreon exclusive videos just for you, including live streams and exclusive content from our team. Our bottom patron tiers fill fast, so join today. But hey, if you don't believe me, look at all of our patrons' amazing success stories. In comparison to other financial platforms, our software is by far the best value. This is your chance to get serious about investing. Yep. If you're finally ready to level up your investing game, join our Patreon and let's start kicking ass together.